good, Scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. One of the more popular NBA stars, uh, and in my opinion, he probably could not get enough credit, is this particular guy by the name of Jimmy Butler. Now, Jimmy Butler is um, a great forward in the NBA, hard worker, uh, he's a top talent. But Jimmy Butler, like many of us as black men, he's experienced um, some issues in his life. And those issues come from a tumultuous home environment. Now, Jimmy Butler, I believe he is from, if I'm not mistaken, the state of Texas. He was born there. And as a young man, he was having some problems, okay? And this is not, like I said, um, it's not uncommon. He was having some problems. He was having some issues. And the mom put him out. Now, he was, again, abandoned by his dad. Now, that's something that, you know, we got to talk about. But he was living in, uh, in Tomball, and the mom kicked him out of the house, okay? She was like, look, you got to go. And he was bouncing between the homes of various friends. And what ended up happening is, you know, he ended up staying with a friend by the name of Jordan Leslie. Okay. Now, Jordan Leslie, if I'm not mistaken, it used to be, um, if it wasn't the, 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 the Vikings, he played football. He's now, uh, or, or, or re re retired. But anyways, he was only a freshman when Jimmy Butler was a senior. Okay. At Tomball high school. And the mother who was white, Took Jimmy Butler in, okay? Took him in. Now, after taking him in, he ended up going to Tyler Community College, right? Then after that, he went to Marquette University. He then ended up going and doing very well at Marquette. He ended up going to Chicago Bulls. The rest is history. And now we know who Jimmy Butler is today. Through that hard work. He's one of the more hardworking players in the NBA. He's respected amongst his peers and colleagues and all of that. Now, with that being said, who is Jimmy Butler dating now? Jimmy Butler is dating, allegedly, Shakira. Okay? Now, let me say this. When we see such a message, okay? When we see such a message or such dating happening, we want to call a black man a sellout without looking at the context. Now, I'm a pro-black. I would have to say... In my honest opinion, there is never any um, any excuse. But everybody don't think like me. What is the reason why he's with Shakira? I could probably say, and this is not the whole thing. He says that, you know, look, we, we you know, um, my, my mom and dad, we're cool now. We got a good relationship. Hey, about the same time, he remembers what happened to him? And see, when we talk about black men dating interracial, we don't want to talk about these stories, do we? We don't want to be serious, do we? No, we don't. We, we typically don't like to talk about these things. We like to stay away from these topics all the time. And the reason why is because somebody would have to put the mirror to our face. And the mirror that somebody going to put to our face, y'all not going to like that ever. You don't like it. When somebody is being truthful, we're putting the mirror to the black man's face or the black community's face about why you have these black men out here with these other groups of people. Y'all don't like it. Y'all don't like it one bit. And my question is, why don't you like it? Why don't you like it? Because it's true. You know how many young black men are mistreated every day in black America, mistreated by their moms? abandoned by their like I said also their dads too but then mistreated by their moms the same moms who when they do good we they can overcome after that I don't need no man then when the kids in the bad well the dad didn't help me on one end when the child does very well we can come out and say well you know what we independent strong black women women we don't really you know who cares about that but now once these things happen here now, now we're now we're problematic when it comes to that. 
Okay, and then when these black men get into predominantly white institutions, universities, and they've seen a lot of trauma in their household or in their life, and yeah, they could have been problematic for sure, but now all of a sudden they're looking to get with somebody else. Now y'all want to say they're a sellout, but then you could excuse it if it's a woman. You know, one thing I always hear about black women is when it comes to black women, you know what? We were abused by our uncles, our men. This is one of the reasons why we don't like black men. We don't feel comfortable around them and because of all of that. And most black men won't even offer you any pushback on that because we do know that abuse goes on in the black community towards black women. We know that. So we're not even going to try to defend ourselves. We, We know it. Most brothers will know it, right? Now, even though it is bad to go ahead on and, you know, say all of this with everybody is like that and... You know, we, we understand it. But but the thing is, we won't try to push back on the fact that we know that abuse goes on. But can you say that abuse goes on with black women towards their sons? That disrespect goes on from black women towards their sons? Can you say that? And I'm not trying to justify anything, but I do want to give context. One of the reasons why people like Jimmy Butler and you always see black men dating like white women all the time. Hey, what happened? See, we don't never want to ask what happened to these guys. We want to ask black women what happened to them. We want to know. Because, you know, I'm not saying that he don't date black women, but what I'm saying is this. We don't want to talk about those things. We can't contextualize those things. Okay? Those are situations that, for me, are very questionable and problematic, and we want to talk about these things. We don't, we, don't, we don't know why I don't want to talk about it. We don't know why. But these things happen. These young men don't come out just messed up on their own. Whenever it's the black men that have a problem, they did it to themselves. You know? Now, this is a black man that somehow overcame it. And he overcame it because a white woman took him in. Which is sad. Now, I know that, you know, you could have black women that could take you in or black men could take you in, too. We, we have plenty of evidence of that. But he is where he is right now because of a stable white family. Somebody he refers to as his mother. Somebody who didn't have to do it. Because his black mother kicked him out. Now, all of a sudden, I bet you they cool now. Oh, now you want to reap the investment and the reward. Oh, look at my son doing this. That's what happened once you make it. Nick Van Etch talked about that. His dad wasn't in his life. Now, all of a sudden, once he got to the NBA doing good, here come his daddy, right? And that's why you never know how people are going to turn out in life. You never know. That's one thing for sure. You never know how people are going to turn out. You got to know how to treat people. Okay? Got to know how to treat people because you never know how they're going to end up. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I appreciate you for all you do. Turn the bell. We're out.